I wasn't building and restoring vintage Porsches, um, to be honest, I don't know what I would do because this has been my life for you know over 25 years, and it's what I uh, love to do. It's what gets me up at 4 a.m. every day. I come from a family of hot rodders and custom car builders, and I'm not afraid to push the limits and change the cars. And people always tend to gravitate to the cars that I build because it's something different and unique. Even if you can't afford a film or a camera, you can still go out in the world and look around. And you can still make conscious decisions between, do I think that the left side of the street's more beautiful or the right side of the street? And then go walk on the side of the street that you like more and just make those small contributions to your mind bank every day. And before you know it, your voice just starts to come out whether you want it to or not. I don't want any of my work to be unbelievable looking. I want it to still border on reality. You know, it's not straight out of the camera, but it's not straight out of hyperspace. It's not CGI. It's fun to take a platform that is pretty recognizable and modify every aspect of it, but make it look as if nothing was modified. For me, imperfections, I have no problem leaving that stuff. Um, you know, so the perfectionism is, is all relative because I view, you know, natural, weird distractions and reflections and shadows and dappled light and stuff like that. I think that, that is perfect. I don't need a matching numbers engine. I don't need a matching numbers door because I'm going to change all that stuff and um, build something or put something better in it anyway. So, um, you know, I often start with cars that are rough and uh, make them better than perfect when I'm done.